Tonight I'm making lamb pot pie. It's kachuch from Armenia. Join me. So traditionally this dish would be prepared in a small clay crock that would then be covered in a layer of bread dough to seal everything in. Uh, similar to the uh, Turkish testi kebab that I made uh, a few episodes ago. I hate to bring up Turkish cuisine in an Armenian episode for obvious reasons, but culinarily uh, they have a lot of similarities going on. Disregarding impending flame wars, uh, the first step is going to be to make that bread dough to make the lid for our pot. So this is going to be a basic bread dough. Same thing that I use for uh, pizza. Uh, get yourself some active yeast. Be sure to spill some on the table. Only need about a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more. Let's pour about a half a cup of warm water into the bowl with the yeast, just to get it going. Wake it up inside. Then I'm gonna take a half a cup of flour. This is all-purpose flour. Give it a sprinkling of salt. Not too much, you don't wanna kill off the yeast. And a little drizzle of olive oil. This will help it crisp up. And then let's add our warm water yeast mixture into the dough and start mixing it up. And that's gonna be a little wet, so uh, let's add a little bit more flour. I'd say we'll end up using a full cup of flour to a half a cup of water, two to one ratio. And that's for all-purpose flour. Your mileage may vary depending on what kind of flour you use. Once it all comes together, give it a quick little knead until it's nice and smooth. Throw it back into an oiled bowl. Cover it up with plastic wrap, and let's let this sit and rise at room temperature for um, no less than half an hour. So while that's sitting off to the side and rising, we're gonna start filling up our vessel with the fillings. Uh, I don't have a clay crock, so I'm using a Pyrex casserole. Uh, this should be just fine. You can really use any vessel you want. So let's go ahead and grab some butter, and we're gonna grease the inside of the casserole. This is gonna prevent things from sticking to the sides so nothing gets burnt. Now we're gonna start adding in the fillings. Uh, I've got an onion that's sliced up into one centimeter slices. Some eggplant that's been cubed. As far as I can tell via Google Translate, the name of the dish, kachuch, means cubes, I think. Google Translate isn't very good with Armenian, so. Next up we got some potatoes. These are totally optional, but some recipes called for it. Got some green poblano peppers. You can use whatever type you want, bell peppers or spicy peppers if you want. Some tomatoes. It's towards the end of the tomato season, uh, so these aren't the ripest, but that's all right because it's just gonna be cooked down for quite a while, so sweetness will build up as we go. And as you can see, I chopped way too many vegetables, so I'll have some leftovers for another dish. I've got six cloves of garlic that I have smashed. You can leave the paper on, that's just fine. Let's hit it with some black pepper and some salt. Next, I'm gonna add in some cubed up lamb. This is lamb shank, you can use whatever cut you want. And there's even a variety that uses fish as the uh, main meat. Let's hit that with some olive oil. And we're gonna pour in a little bit of dry red wine. I'm using Beaujolais Viage, but you can use any dry red wine. If you're making the version with fish, then you can use a dry white wine. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in some sprigs of flat leaf parsley, as well as some oregano. You can choose whatever herbs you want for this. Um, I've seen tarragon thrown in it, uh, as well as dill. So, but here I'm just sticking to some basics. Next, you're gonna realize that your casserole is a little too small to mix things up by hand. So you're gonna transfer it to a larger bowl. Make sure everything is mixed evenly so that you get bites of each little bit of vegetable in every serving. So since this is the consistency of a pizza dough, I'm just gonna treat it like a pizza dough. Press it out with your fingers into a circle. You can toss it back and forth between two hands. That'll stretch it out evenly as you rotate it. And then you can sort of toss it around the backs of your hands to stretch it even further. You can see it's nice and thin and floppy, which would be perfect for a pizza, but I was a little overzealous. Uh, I've got a 
thin, thin cover on top and a lot of excess. So what I'm gonna do is cut off the excess, stretch this piece out into another layer and just double it up. So go ahead and cover that up, poke a few little holes in the dough to let steam out. And we're gonna throw this in a preheated oven at 180 degrees centigrade or 360 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. So what better way to serve a pot pie than removing the lid and using it as a plate? Mostly that's because this is a really long bake and uh, this crust has turned into mostly a cracker. The inside's still a little bit soft, but I don't think I'm gonna be eating this much. Um, also, it's starting to crack a little bit as it cools down. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is the delicious fillings. So let's dig right in. Let's see what it's all about. It is steamy still. Too much garlic. That was basically a 100% garlic bite. I'll tell you what I'll do. Get some eggplant, some lamb. It's just like a good slow cooked stew. The lamb has just fallen apart. The uh, oregano really rounds out the flavor quite a bit. And you just got a good foundation of vegetables here that each lend their own sort of uh, flavor. Overall, I'd say the only uh, really unique sort of thing about this uh, compared to a stew is the process that you use here. Uh, and I would say that this is a better option. Would you rather saute a bunch of onions, build a base, brown your meat, start building things slowly, or dump everything in a crock, let it go for a couple hours, and end up with very similar results? Of course, you don't have to do the bread thing either. If your uh, Pyrex comes with a lid, then go for that. Or you could do tin foil or whatever. Just uh, seal them the juices some way or another. But damn, is that good.